A universal exhibition dedicated to food, the first in 164 years. Why now? And why here, in Italy? Because the need to feed everyone while maintaining the balance of the planet has become a priority, and because Italy is the country that the whole world associates with eating well. But eating well no longer means just satisfying the palate and stomach. It means having food on your plate that is also good in the sense of being virtuous from selected quality sources and produced with rigorous systems and respect for the environment and people's health. This is where the Emilia-Romagna region comes in, with its agriculture and its rural culture. It's a region that is the standard bearer of food made in Italy, which has long directed its strategies towards quality production. This is true in terms of both its raw materials and its methodologies and controls, with research and innovation to ensure respect for tradition, but also market competitiveness. The agri-food sector in Emilia-Romagna, from agricultural production to its industrial processing, is worth about 25 billion euro. It is the leading region in Europe for the number of its PDO and PGI products, which totals 41. It has about 70,000 farms and is the leader among the regions of Italy in agribusiness exports, accounting for 16% of the national total. It boasts 4,968 food processing enterprises. Its system is based on three pillars. Food safety. In fact, this started in Emilia, from the integrated pest management of the 70s to the organic production of today, which is based on strict rules, traceability, and control throughout the supply chain. There are 3,876 organic farms in the region. Training. Thanks to its four universities and its agricultural colleges, new generations are being raised, ready to engage in the sector. Thanks also to the resources specifically earmarked for young people and new businesses, 1,600 companies were started by young people in the last five years. In addition, there is the cooperative movement that is an inseparable part of the history and DNA of the region. Thus, at the Expo Milano 2015, the Emilia-Romagna region intends to demonstrate a model of quality agriculture that is lived and experienced that can help to address global choices in the direction of production in abundant quantities that is both economically competitive and respectful of environmental balance. Crucial to this will be the meeting of the World Food Research and Innovation Forum. This discussion platform, promoted by the Emilia-Romagna region, will cover the present and the future of food, with the specific intention of making it a regular world event. Then there is the truly innovative project, Climate Changer, by which the Emilia-Romagna region aims to address the problem of climate change which affects agriculture, but which agriculture can also help to mitigate through the use of more sustainable agricultural practices. There have been developments in techniques of cultivation and livestock farming that, for the same yield and quality, reduce the emission of greenhouse gases, in particular carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide and methane. Building on the results already achieved by 10 companies in the region on the experience gained in integrated pest management and making use of these specifications traditionally used for PDOs and PGIs, the region will be demonstrating at the Expo in Milan how good practices can be implemented on a large scale, less use of fertilizers and pesticides, more rational management of water resources, the use of techniques of land cultivation and slurry management that have less impact on the environment. Then September the 18th will be the day of the conference devoted to agribusiness cooperatives in Emilia-Romagna on the theme The Origins of Innovation, an opportunity to bring together experts on the subject of tradition and the future of cooperation to define a model for sustainable economic and social development. On September the 19th, in the region's exhibition spaces at the Milan Expo, the day will be devoted to training with various initiatives including an international conference. Meanwhile, the Emilia-Romagna region has already been featured in the Italian pavilion with two companies that symbolize tradition married to innovation, with stories related to the production of balsamic vinegar and to precision agriculture. And in the week dedicated to the region, another four companies will provide excellent examples of the expo themes of know-how and power from pushing the limits, such as organic wine production, innovative breeding techniques for cows, providing milk for Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, bringing back endangered breads, such as the Mora Romagnola pig, for outstanding cured meats and technological aids to fruit production destined for international markets. 
In parallel, back in Emilia-Romagna, opportunities will be given during the expo period for the trade and the specialized press to get to know the reality on the ground in terms of farming techniques, breeding systems, the machines and the materials used. There will be hundreds of guided tours, field trials, demonstrations and simulations that have been specially organized with initiatives funded or sponsored by the region. At the Expo in Milan, the agricultural sector of Emilia-Romagna is showing that quality and sustainability can and should go hand in hand. We would like the Expo to provide an opportunity for getting across the concepts behind our quality-based model of agriculture, a model that is increasingly based on local produce, on excellent products that take account of the tradition, history and culture that lies behind them, because we believe that this in itself creates more sustainability. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind.